Hi, this is Andrew from Kite Army. I've been working on a laminar flow nozzle for a while now. I also have added light to it so you can get the fiber optic effect through the flow. Um, that's been very simple and I'll show you how I did that. Very few laminar flow nozzles online demonstrate how to do that. So I've been kind of playing with it. Um, I want to keep tuning what I have here but this is my starting uh, point for my prototype. One of the things I should mention about my prototype is that I've used hot glue on all my joints so they can open it up. It takes some force, sometimes a hammer, sometimes a screwdriver, but you can open up all the uh, the pieces of the uh, of the nozzle very easily without breaking it. So you can see um, there's some uh, sorry some uh, hot glue right here. You just use a screwdriver. By the way, I'm using uh, one and a half sorry two inch uh, PVC here, which is perfect uh, for the prototype. I'm going to insert smaller straws today uh, just to see if I can improve my laminar. And you can see I've developed a process to get that nice, clean, crisp edge in there. That's a piece of aluminum can, but I'll show you how I do that. So I'm going to open it up right now, and I'm going to try smaller straws today. All right, so what I've done is I've removed the top meshing that holds the straws in. Here's the straws that I took out. They were uh, down in the bottom here. And... Um, you can see down there I have another meshing just like this and what I did is I used cut a key piece of PVC, took a notch out of it and that slips in there so it holds uh, your straws in place. Behind there is just some uh, scrubbing pads, two layers of scrubbing pads and that's where I uh, have inserted my, um, my LED uh, piece. So hopefully that will go in back smoothly again and we'll come out there once I get these new straws in there. So I'm going to insert these little straws and we're going to see how this works. Okay, so now I've taken the whole piece apart. You can see here's just what I have in the back end. That's to connect to my hose. I've drilled the hole here through the, for the fiber optic cable. That goes in the back. This slips into here. You have these uh, scrubbing pads that sit on top here. They just slow down the water, disperse it before it goes through your um, straws with your straws load in up here. Okay, you can now see that I inserted the new little straws in there. I had to use some of the older ones just because I was running out, but it keeps, uh, what's nice is once you get it right, it will keep that fiber optic uh, cable right in the center. So you pack the straws around the fiber optic cable. Next I'm going to glue my uh, I'm, well, let me insert this, and I'm going to glue it in. This is my um, mesh to hold them, and I need to kind of spin it around to get my fiber optic cable through. Then I push it down like that, on top of all the straws, hopefully, so they stay put. So here's my uh, the nozzle I just used. You can see this is maybe a little larger than a quarter inch. I'm going to go to a much larger nozzle. I'm not going to drill this out. I'm going to leave this as a backup. So I'm going to make a new piece. What I've done with a pair of scissors is I've cut a piece of aluminum can. You want to make sure it's nice and clean. You can see it's even got the shape of the aluminum can. So the first thing you're going to want to do is gently just straighten it out. Just kind of get it flat, like so. Just make sure you're doing it along the whole thing. So you're not bending. You don't want to put a bend in it. You just want to straighten it out so that it, it goes back to a piece of flat metal. The reason you don't want to bend it is you don't want to have um, you don't want to have any creases in it. So just get it as flat as you can get it. It will kind of that's probably flat enough. Now, what you need to do to get a nice clean hole in here is get two blocks of scrap wood. Lay it down in the scrap wood, like so. Figure out where about the center is. I happen to have a nail gun, so I just put. Now you can use screws, or anything you want to use for that. So now the piece is sandwiched in there. Now what I do is right in the center. See, there goes my aluminum. That's as far as you need to go. You don't need to go all the way through. You 
just need to go past your aluminum, you see my aluminum piece popped out. Then you get this, you open it up like so. And there you have a nice clean hole. Like so, so I can glue it in. And that's that process. Okay, you can see I'm a lot larger hole now. We can clearly see it's not perfectly uh, dark in here, but for our demonstration, this should do the trick so that you'll be able to see what the lighted laminar flow looks like. Again, I just have a little pen light here. <coughs> I light up uh, a uh, fiber optic cable that goes into my nozzle. Gotta get a little bit of the air out. Takes a minute to get that air out. You can see. You can see the light sort of jumping there. And there it is. And it increase. And a lot of disturbance in the water. really clearly that um, that light is traveling along the, uh, the wood. You can see there's some, there's some air in the uh, hose here. 